everyone, and welcome to another edition of Race Face Drive-In 5 here on RaceFace.tv. My name is Jacob Seelman, and joined on this episode by quarter midget racer Clayton Otto, who's getting ready for his first race of the season. But before we get to talking about all that, Clayton, uh, it's good to have you on. And just tell the fans a little bit about yourself, what you've been doing um, to get to this point. I know you've been racing quarter midgets the last couple of years. Well, so... The last couple of years, it's been awesome driving corn widgets. I've driven all the way up. I'm now racing four cars this year. We just had to put all new body panels in the cars, like on the cars, and we had to redo the entire thing because they were all destroyed and we never replaced anything before that. So it's like we had to just set up. We had to put a setup in our garage and then just... So we have to, it's like taking the car entirely apart, just the chassis and just rebuilding it to get all back together. So that's been how you've spent most of your off season, huh? Yeah. So four cars, you're running four classes this year, I think, correct? Yeah. Which four classes are you running for people that don't know? Um, senior Honda, Senior Animal, Light 160, and Light World Formula. And maybe this year... At the end or towards halfway through, we'll add a formula modified in there. Ooh, fun things, possible things on the horizon for you. We're excited about that. Do you have a favorite as far as your quarter midget classes, or is that a case where because they're kind of similar, you can race them roughly the same way? Be senior animal. I don't know why it's like it's one. It's like my second fastest car, but. I have, I have a lot of fun driving it, and I can drive it, like, really well. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, what skills have you had to work on in the quarter midget? I know, you know, it's very momentum-based. It's a very small track. What what have you had to work on to be a better quarter midget racer for the last couple yeah. of years? Obviously, how to handle the line on the track. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't get that right, then you're pretty much screwed. And also strengthening arms for the steering wheel okay so, so you're a first generation quarter midget driver by the way and after you started in quarter midgets we figured out that uh, that your granddad used to drag race so uh, that's one of those where we kind of sit back and go okay there's straight line racing in your history and yet here you are going in circles yeah I mean, I thought that was pretty weird when I first saw it. Like that, I um, I my my granddad raced, and like I think my great grandpa, I mm -hmm. think like that, or my great great grandpa, he raced. I believe that was in Pennsylvania, which is actually where your uh where your quarter midget racing now um predominantly at the Keystone Club, correct? Yeah, that's in Schnecksville. All right. So what you've got going, um, you're going to run the NASCAR Youth Series this year. Um, like you said, Senior Honda, Senior Animal, Light 160, and adding Light World Formula. You've run NASCAR Youth in the past. What's your favorite place that NASCAR Youth has gone or favorite place that you've quarter midget raced? That's really hard. I have to think about that first because I like, I lo I like Tricky Triangle a lot. Okay. But I also like um, this one race in Christian County I had for the National last year. Okay. It, a little bit different. And for those who don't know, Tricky Triangle is the quarter midget track at Pocono Raceway. So there's that. It, it's interesting that you say that because I hear a lot of quarter midget racers say um, Indianapolis for the Battle at the Brickyard. I haven't been there. Okay. So yeah, that that if you get that experience this year, that'll be a new one for you. And, yeah, and definitely... Yeah, definitely a really, really cool place. But Pocono, Pocono's a really fun place, really pretty place as well. So you're getting set to race at Keystone Club next weekend. You talked about getting the cars ready. How excited are you to get back behind the wheel? I know it's been kind of a long off season for you. I'm so excited because I hate just beating the adults in the go-karts all the time. It's, it gets kind of boring when it gets repetitive. <laughs> so... And that's just go-kart racing for fun in the off-season? Yeah. 
where at out of curiosity is um, it just the local we have valley quarter um no not quarter, um the go-karts they have there they're gas indoor carts okay so so you go and run the indoor carts to just kind of keep yourself fresh and go out yeah. and beat all beat everybody that's two and three times older than you yeah <laughs> that that's fun that's uh, particularly for you at 10 years old that's a lot of fun i know so yeah, i get cold on the bumping all the time <laughs> Okay, now I'll I'll, remind, I'll tell you for quarter midget racing, maybe not quite that aggressive. Yeah, I bumped maybe. Midgets, but... <laughs> All right, Clayton. Well, we're we're having a lot of fun and definitely excited for you to get to race next weekend. Before we finish up this episode, I know you've got sponsors and people that you couldn't do this racing thing without. So take a minute. Let's say some thank yous to uh, to your sponsors and anybody that helps make it possible for you to race. So my sponsors are Esposito Construction, Level 10 Development, Landstone, King Wooly Studios, Hoffman Pediatric Dents, um, Dentistry, um, Lacey Photography, um, all the race face stuff, and Friends of Jacqueline, and then also do it. Have you gotten to do any work yet with Friends of Jacqueline? Well, I have Landstone is through Friends of Jacqueline. Okay. It's a lot of fun. I know uh, a lot of our race face drive-in five drivers uh, really enjoy that partnership. So yeah. we'll finish this one up, Clayton. I appreciate you coming on and best of luck for your Keystone race next weekend. We're excited and we'll do it again next month after you've had a few under your belt. Thank you. All right. That's Clayton Otto. My name is Jacob Seelman. This has been another episode of Race Face Drive-In 5. We'll see you next time here on raceface.tv.